So I wanted to talk about grace today. I love grace. It feels so good to receive grace. <laughs> so I remember when um, my son was 10, this was a very long time ago, and he thought he lost his cell phone. And I completely lost my mind. I lost my temper, I lost control of my words. Oh, it was terrible. Cause I was so angry. And then of course he found his phone and I felt terrible and I apologized to him and I was ashamed that I had lost my temper and lost control of my words. And he looked at me and he goes, that's okay, mommy, I love you, without even a hesitation. And once I got beyond feeling terrible, I was so thankful for that. I was so thankful for that gift because I didn't deserve it. I was a bad mom at that moment. <laughs> But grace was first shown to us from God. He shows us grace every single day, his love and mercy, not because we deserve it, not because we've earned it, but because of his great love for us. And ultimately his grace is shown through Jesus Christ. So I found some um, quotes that I wanted to share with you on grace. B.B. Uh, Warfield says, grace is free sovereign favor to the ill-deserving. John Stott says, grace is love that cares and stoops and rescues. Paul Zoll says, grace is unconditional love toward a person who doesn't deserve it. We all need grace, you guys. We all make mistakes. We're human. Sometimes we get carried away with our emotions. Instead of judgment, grace is the answer. So grace is revealed pretty much in every page of the Bible. And I just wanted to share with you uh, some scripture. So Romans 5, 2, this grace in which we stand. Uh, Hebrews 13, 9, for it is good for the heart to be strengthened by grace. 2 Timothy 2, 9, be strengthened by the grace that is in Jesus Christ. Colossians 4, 6, let your speech always be gracious. Hebrews, Hebrews 4, 16, we get grace to help in time of need. 1 Peter 1.10 And when you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. The last verse of the Bible summarizes the message uh, from Genesis to Revelation. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with all. That's Revelation 22.21. And in John 1, 16, through Jesus, we have all received grace upon grace. Uh, and some of this information I've gathered is from Justin Holcomb, um, his book on the grace of God. But grace is a gift and we first receive it from God. But boy, we all need grace, don't we? We need to give grace to people in our lives, to our loved ones, and to the people that are in our lives, in our circle, is I, my experience is everyone tries their hardest. Everyone tries to do their best. And a lot of times we don't know what people are going through in their lives. We don't know. Um, sometimes I wish we could, you know, have a placard on that says, this is what I'm dealing with today. Um, you know, my aunt died, my sister died, or I'm suffering, I'm sick or whatever. So we would know what people are going through, but we don't know. You guys, we don't know what people are going through. So instead of judgment, let's show grace, the kind of grace that God shows us, that he sent his one and only son, Jesus, to die for us, that kind of grace that stems from big, unconditional love, I would encourage you to show that to the people in your life. And um, we all need it. Thanks for watching, you guys.